Today I'm going to show you how to manually load firmware onto your iConnectivity interface. Uh, we're going to use MIDIOX today, which the link is in the description, to load this firmware onto your interface. Um, this is great if you get stuck into bootloader mode, uh, which will often be shown by two lights alternating back and forth on the front of your interface. Um, this could happen if for some reason your firmware didn't fully load properly. Um, so this is a great little tool to have just in case anything happens. So let's get started here. So today we are going to do this on a Mio XL. So I'm going to fake uh, a failed firmware load and we'll set it up on that. Please note that you will need to be connected via USB in order to load firmware. Also, there's a specific USB if your device has multiple USB ports on it. Uh, you can look in the description and there's a spreadsheet that shows you which USB port you should be plugged into to load firmware on your interface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into bootloader mode. So we're gonna go to firmware and install. And once it goes into bootloader mode, I'm just gonna kill Oracle X before it gets firmware. Let's just kill Oracle X. So now you can see the alternating lights on the front. And that means it's in bootloader mode. And since Oracle X is not open, it's not actually going to get any firmware. So let's open up MIDIOX here. Uh, we're not going to bother with this main window. We're going to go to the menu and go to Actions, Play MIDI. And we want this little mini bar down here. This may show up behind the main window, so just make sure to drag it out and look behind the main window if you can't see it. So the first thing we need to do is select the MIDI port that we're going to send the data to. So if we hit this little uh, circle button here that looks like a DIN MIDI port. You'll see all the MIDI ports on your device and we want to find the one that says loader after it so I have it selected here, Mio XL loader and we're just going to hit OK. Then we're going to select the file folder and we're going to select the firmware file which you can download on our website the latest firmware at iConnectivity.com slash downloads. So let's get this one right here and hit open and so this might take a second once you hit open here it takes a minute for the mini bar to actually load the file um, if you click outside of it it'll likely freeze up um, but it will load if you just wait it'll end up loading it even though it looks like it's frozen um, so that'll load up it'll take a few seconds once it's loaded you'll see a time in the second slot here and you'll see the name of the file in the top of the mini bar this should just take a moment all right, so now we have the file loaded in. You can see the file name here, and it's gonna take 37 seconds. So we just need to play this out now that we've selected our file and our port to send it to. So let's hit this play button, which is like the arrow going to the right here, and you'll see the time starting to pass. On the front of the interface, you'll see the bottom two left lights um, on the XM, or XL, sorry, uh, start to flash really quick, almost solid. And that means it's just loading the, the MIDI file out and we're actually getting firmware to the interface. And you can still see the alternating lights on the top while it's in bootloader mode. So once this file runs through um, in the top left corner, uh, you'll either see a green light, meaning it's a success, or a red light, meaning that it failed. Uh, in my case, it just finished. And we can see a green light right here in the top left corner. And that means that it's successfully loaded. So now all we have to do is power the device off and back on. So to power off almost all the uh, iConnectivity interfaces, we'll just press and hold on the button or knob for about four seconds. One, two, there we go. So it's four seconds, it's turned off and we're just gonna click it again and it'll come back on. And on the Mio XL, it actually shows the firmware on the front splash screen. Um, so you can actually see that it's 132 on the front. But if you want to double check on that, you can actually go into Oracle for X series and check that it's loaded the latest firmware. So let's go over here to Mio XL, hit the info button, and 132. If you have any other questions, though, feel free to contact us at support at iConnectivity.com support.